Okay, so finally giving you the last video of the sickle bar um, storyline here. Uh, I'll walk you through this. I'll show it to you run a little bit and then we'll uh, we'll show you me cutting some grass. So here is the new teeth on the cutting bar installed. I oiled all that up real good. Um, looks good. I did turn on the PTO a little bit just to make sure everything looked okay. Um, yep, and it looks fine there. Um, I did also try out the lowering mechanism. I'll show you that here in a second once I start the tractor. Just won't be able to hear me talk probably once I start the tractor. So uh, I rigged up a little wire rope there so I can pull that from the tractor. Um, lifting it seems fine from the tractor. It does seem like you got to pull it quite hard to um, to make it go down. So I don't know. I might have to add some grease to loosen that up. I, I greased everything up. Jeez, I put almost two whole cans of grease on this thing. So um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, I did adjust this one more, I guess, notch over. Um, I changed it a little bit. You'll see that when it falls down here, it does change the angle a little bit when it drops. You'll see that when I uh, when I start up the tractor, but that toe isn't still quite in the air. Um, we'll see. I'll give it a shot, and uh, based on how that goes, I might have to make some other adjustments. Although I'm not sure what exactly I would change. I was there's not doesn't appear to be too many other things that I could adjust, but we'll see how it goes and can go from there. Greased everything up under here. Um, <laughs> I left work early today to try to get the, this hay cut, um, got everything hooked up, got it uh, figured out, I thought, um, went to hook up the PTO, and uh, this was the original, I guess, linkage that was on the end of the PTO, and you'll see there's no quick disconnect button, instead there was this pin that went all the way through the hole onto here. Um, the adapter that I have on here does not have the hole that goes all the way through. The original PTO underneath there does, but that's also a smaller size. So I ran up to TSC. Luckily they had the right size um, with the quick disconnect button. And I just had to go through the uh, pull taking this basically recreating that U joint, pressing that out of there, um, and then pressing it into the new one. Luckily, that was in decent enough shape where I can put it back together and I didn't ruin the C clips, so uh, that went together relatively easy, easier than I would have thought. There's tons of videos online showing you how to do that, so I didn't uh, take the time to record that one. So, okay. I will uh, fire up the tractor here and we'll show you what it looks like when it's moving.
Okay, so it looks like it's doing pretty well. I got a lot to learn about driving that thing. But as you can see, it cut very cleanly. And there's some pretty thick grass there. So uh, I'm gonna put the camera away and uh, focus on my driving. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't exactly straight there. But yeah, super happy with this. And I'll show you how it uh, turns out when we're all done. Okay, so there's the first little patch. Uh, worked pretty well. Um, as I showed you, it cut pretty clean. Um, I did start running into some issues with it clogging when it got a little thicker. Uh, as you can see here, I was looking forward and driving, trying not to hit these vehicles over here instead of paying attention to what was happening behind me. But uh, when it get clogs like this, um, yeah, it just rakes through it and it's not cutting. So for the first time, not too bad. Uh, there's, I tried to plow this field um, last year with my little, or a couple of years ago with my little 8C, or uh, my little Alice Chalmers C. Um, and so there's these little divots right here, which I think are causing, making it a little bit harder for me to, to drive. So I'm, that's why it's a little bit uh, nastier than, uh, than I would hope. Uh, I do have to harvest some soil off of this um, for a new septic system that's going in over here. So, um, after I get this hay off, I'll probably be scraping a lot of this down and then hopefully this ball breaking it up and planting new. So this is just a, an experiment. I am going to bail this, get the old 68, um, New Holland running and bail this because my parents' horse will use it for sure. But super happy with, uh, with how that went, how this went. So far, the only issue that I saw is there was a little, I guess, deflector right here. It was meant to push the grass back this way. And somewhere in this just first bunch that I've uh, cut, it's uh, it snapped off. So I'll have to fashion something to go there. Because uh, what it does is it keeps the the grass from piling up over here and, and kind of bundling up so we'll see pretty happy um yeah not too shabby um pretty happy with it and stay tuned for uh, other projects that i got coming up not sure if i'll put anything on the baler up there uh i think it should be in pretty good order um i do need to run some string through it and then um, we'll see what it does when it comes time to bail this but <laughs> we'll see I may make a video on that and I may not but uh, thanks for watching